client says if they expose them to over voltage. I'm going to increase the voltage gradually. Using some old Soviet transformers, the voltage will increase from 220 to 380 volts. And you will see yourself which device will survive this and how dangerous our voltage is. There's plasma. Oh my gosh. Well guys, let's go. The first gladiator is out the bulbs. This is a simple bulb, I'd say classic, and a super modern one, the cord lamp. The source is simple 220 volt socket. I will increase the voltage gradually with these transformers and the voltage will go through the crocodile leaves to the lamps. I have found that one specificity. Somehow, early in the morning, while everyone sleep, the voltage in the socket grows higher, up to 260 volts. Later, I go that there is nothing special in this effect. And the question for you guys, why do electricians rise the voltage while everyone sleep? That's dangerous. Okay, while you are thinking, we are starting. Let's start from 250 volts. Do it, I'll be looking after you. The lamps glow normally, nothing happens. Let's give them some more. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Well, now the voltage is going to be devilish. It's too hot. Now we're talking. Hell yeah, bring it on. Oh my gosh, they work! It's almost 300 volts, but it's okay. Turn off. You have seen these guys, uh, they don't care about 300 volts. There wasn't a single crack of spark in bulbs. It was like routine. Okay, now let's add some more. One more transformer. Let's go further. Now bombs are going to be exploded. Turn it on. They are blasting. Oh my god, they didn't blow it. How is that possible? They glow in the same way. Bloody hell. This is very awkward. I really thought the balls must go blow up from this. Let's give them 370 volts. Which bulb is going to win? How do you think? The corn or ancient incandescent lamp? Come on, do it. Aha! Come on, 380! I can't get it! Explain me how this helped possible! Why that didn't blow up? Turning off? Why this doesn't work? Do the manufacturers make such good quality protection and they take 380 volts? It is supposed to work with 265 volts. It isn't for 370. Kitty cat! And there goes the third transformer I have. It's the last one. The current will be just impossible. One of the boss will not take this. Let's go! Hold on, boss. Your lives are going to expire. And that's it, both the old one. Yeah, it died. Oh my gosh, don't turn it off. The condenser has released the gas, but it didn't blow up. That's LOL. Smart bolt. That's the electric, of course. This Lenin's mustache has melted. Stalin is dead. How could he die so old, Yosef? I do not believe that it was made in China. Yeah. You know that it's crazy, because it's the most cheap lamp. Can you fancy that? The corn bulb wins in this test. It has suffered, yes. It had to release the gas from the condenser. There is no electric anymore, but it works even without it. Let's carry on the next test. The cell phone chargers. Oh, cell phone goes kaboom! Phones at night, no one looks after them, and the electricians increase the voltage at night. I have asked you already about it, and I hope you know the answer. Let's check the first charger. That is Nokia for such an old charger. The second one is the rival, Samsung. We will attach it through a USB dock. If something goes wrong, the dock will protect my device. We are starting with 255 volts again. Charging process has started. There it goes. They all look okay. Turning it off. Let's add some more voltage. It is going to be around 300 volts. Let's see. As you can see, all the devices are made with good extra voltage rate. Let's see what's next. The next step is 333 volts. Both Kaboom! Yeah. Alright, let's give them 400 ones. The balls didn't survive this. Bring it on. Uh oh. It's oh, popping. Oh, wow, the Samsung went off. Yeah, it did, but it's still working. It gives out the voltage despite the boom. Now we're going to give them the biggest voltage we can give. Here we go. It will blow up. Well. Whoa! That was awesome! Oh, look here! It's burning over there! Is that electrolyte? 
What if this happened in your house? Just imagine, this can happen to the charger from old voltage. Such thing will definitely start the fire. Well, it is burning out. I can see the winding, and that was the condenser. Look at it, it is damaged hard. But this Samsung one still works, despite it was damaged. Here we go. That's it. It doesn't even charge now. There was a slight sound from the charger, no smoke, no explosion, but it died. Have a look at it. The Samsung has made a great charger. They might overcome the rivals and they seal the charger. Consequently, if there appear fire, it will put out itself because no oxygen. And the next contestant is gonna be the blender. Does it smell like trouble, kitty? Open that samurai. Careful. We just want to see what is going to happen to the motor, and we have to disassemble it a little. By the way, that is a blender will blow up the better thing. People say... Super Sweeper Dry Cloths grab dust and hair and lock it away. Better than a broom. Love it or your money back. Staying connected when you're busy is easy. <laughs> it's all in the snacks. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow I'll finish the videos. Saint is very sturdy. Hey Kitty. <laughs> so there's the motor. Have a look at this beauty. I have a motor. I have a corpus. Mm. What the hell is that? The blender is ready to work. And we're going to give it the first dose. 255 volts. I hope it's not going to move. The sound was just crazy. Let's add some more. Ooh. Set the minimum speed, please. And now turn it on. Turn it on, come on. Alright, that's the minimum. I guess you can see how it's spinning. Don't let it cut your finger. It's working good. And now let's see how it's working on the maximum speed. Adding power. It's sparking. Oh my gosh. These motors are strong as hell. They can spin and spin and spin with every voltage. If you get here at a big impulse, it will fly. That was really deafening. It was hard to survive a minute for us. As you can see, it isn't even smoking here. It is hot. I'm afraid to touch it. Fancy that. It isn't even hot. The bearings did survive, and the motor must have been smashed with a torque, but it survived too. And even the brushes are alike too. They didn't even give a spark. For now, it is 100% winner. Write your guesses how many volts required to burn it. All flight to the moon. Well, let's get to the big fish. This TV brand is Nokia. And again, we will get it to 125 volts. Though all devices work with this voltage normally. It's speaking! Oh, really? Oh, it isn't the right channel. Let me brought something better. There's some men talking. Will it do? Sure. It is just perfect. Well, everything seems to be okay. And we're adding some voltage. Let's give it 330 at once. Right? To finish with this poster, turn on the power. Replacing the connection. It's almost ready. Well, I want to get the extinguisher. And now moving to the safe place. And hide. Well, I'm giving power. Hold it. Hold it. It's coming. Hold it. Prince, who's talking? It is smashed! Oh my! It defecated so hard! Let me show you guys! It really defecated! Just look at all this! Oh my! Just pay attention please guys! Look here! 
This hole is hot. That is as simple as pi. The condenser blew up. Classic. Happens to the best of us. And now we're switching to dessert. That is a microwave. I anticipate that this microwave will explode like hell. It is going to radiate some devastating waves from the high voltage. There must appear a few ball lightnings. The balls are filled with energy, and they will fly around the yard. Next, they will collapse and make a black hole. Anyway, I think it will blow up. We have bought the cheapest microwave we could find. Why try for... Okay, go with that crap.